long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible said. Mary's born child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, a new king's born today. And man will live forevermore, because of Christmas Day. Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. White shepherds watch their flocks by night. They see a bright new shining star. They hear a choir sing a song. The music seemed to come from afar. Half now here the angels sing. A new is born today, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Morning, Sister Superior, ma'am, teachers, and our dear friends. We warmly welcome you to our Christmas message. Today's program has been put together by the class sixes. It's that time of year again. December has come and with it all the joys of Christmas. But what is the real meaning of Christmas? Is it the gifts under the tree, the lights in the windows, the cards in the mail, turkey dinner with family and friends, snow in the yard, stockings hanging in the living room, and shouts of Merry Christmas to those who pass us in the streets? Is this really Christmas? For many people, Christmas is a time of sorrow. They don't have the extra money to buy presents for their children, family and friends. Many are saddened at Christmas time when they think of their loved ones who will not be able to come home for various reasons. Turkey dinners may be only a wish and not a reality for some. Yet, Christmas can be a season of great joy. It is a time of God showing His love for us. It can be a time of healing and renewed strength. You see, Christmas is when we celebrate the birth of the Christ child. God sent his son, Jesus, into the world to be born. His birth brought great joy to the world. Shepherds, wise men and angels all shared in the excitement of knowing about this great event. They knew this was no ordinary baby. The prophets had told of his coming hundreds of years before. The star stopped over Bethlehem just to mark the way for those who were looking for the special child. The Gold Wrapping Paper Once upon a time, there was a man who worked very hard just to keep food on the table for his family. This particular year, a few days before Christmas, he punished his little five-year-old daughter after learning that she had used up the family's only roll of expensive gold wrapping paper. As money was tight, he became even more upset when on Christmas Eve, he saw that the child had used all of the expensive gold paper to decorate one shoebox she had put under the Christmas tree. He also was concerned about where she had gotten money to buy what was in the shoebox. Nevertheless, the next morning, the little girl, filled with excitement, brought the gift box to her father and said, This is for you, Daddy. As he opened the box, the father was embarrassed by his earlier overreaction, now regretting how he had punished her. But when he opened the shoebox, he found it was empty and again his anger flared. Don't you know, young lady? He said harshly. When you give someone a present, there's supposed to be something inside the package. The little girl looked up at him with sad tears rolling from her eyes 
and whispered, Daddy, it's not empty. I blew kisses into it until it was all full. The father was crushed. He fell on his knees and put his arms around his precious little girl. He begged her to forgive him for his unnecessary anger. An accident took the life of the child only a short time later. It is told that the father kept this little golden box by his bed for all the years of his life. Whenever he was discouraged or faced difficult problems, he would open the box, take out an imaginary kiss and remember the love of this beautiful child who had put it there. In a very real sense, each of us has been given an invisible golden box filled with unconditional love and kisses from our children, family, friends and God. There is no more precious possession anyone could hold. The little girl blew kisses into the box. That was as expensive as any gift in the market. The same with Christ, the Saviour. He was born to be the King, but He was born in a manger. God sent Him to live among us so that we would learn to be humble, love with all our heart, and appreciate and value the simplest things in life. Symbols of Christmas Christmas is the festival which is celebrated worldwide with equal vigor and zeal. The best things about Christmas are the symbols and rituals associated with it. Apart from traditions, rituals and customs, there are symbols as well which are popularly associated with the celebration of this particular festival. In fact, these symbols have become so common with the masses that through these symbols people come to know that Christmas has actually arrived. So, following are some of the symbols that have been eventually attached with the celebration of the day, which marks the birth of Jesus. Star represents the bright star that shone the night Jesus was born. Candy cane represents the shepherd's staff. Christ is also called the Good Shepherd and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Gifts represent the gold, frankincense and myrrh. And when they opened, they had opened their treasures. They presented him gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh. Evergreen tree represents the eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Christmas carolers represent the multitude of angels that sang on the night Jesus was born. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Christmas candles and lights represent the light that Jesus has brought to the world to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Holy berries represent the blood that Christ shed for us. For this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for many remission of sins. Nativity scene represents the scene in the manger where Jesus was born and she bought for her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. Christmas wreath represents the crown of thorns that Jesus wore when he was crucified. The soldiers made a crown of long, sharp thorns 
and put it on his head. Christmas bells represent the call of mankind to worship the Lord, for the Son of Man to seek and to save that which was last. Just as the three wise men bought gifts for the newborn Christ, let us now offer our prayers to Him. Help us to love because you first loved us. Hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in belonging so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Father God, it is by your grace we have been saved and through our faith. This is not from ourselves but a gift from you, not by our work. Forgiveness. Thank you for being faithful and just in forgiving us our sins and thus purifying us from all unrighteousness. Let us be merciful just as the Father is merciful. Let us be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as through Jesus you forgave us. Generosity. Let us be enriched in every way to be generous in every way and to give the glory and thanks to you, Lord. Compassion Let us live in harmony with one another, be sympathetic and compassionate, love as brothers and be humble. Joy Let us be joyful in hope, patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. Thank you for providing Jesus who is the way, the truth, the life, and the only way to you. Obedience. Help us to not merely listen to your word and so deceive ourselves. Help us do what it says. Life. Thank you for coming that we may have life and have it to the full. Loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and the worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be thy children, and the Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts. Forgiving and forgiven, for Jesus' sake, shall rise out of Israel. Oh, my God. 
Oh, son. Thanks be to God. <laughs> son is the promised king of his people. What is his name? Jesus. His name is Jesus.
Oh, fuck.